Now let me show you how I created this effect in simple steps. Start by recording yourself working on your system or working. Then you ask someone to send you a message. While the message enter, you pick the phone and check your notification. So before you read the contents of the notification, take a screenshot because we are going to be using it in this editing. After that, you are still going to record yourself reading your message. After reading your message, you are going to swipe down, turn down the volume of your phone, turn down the brightness and put it on do not disturb and then you drop the phone and continue working. Now for the second phase, you are going to screen record your phone screen, doing exactly the same thing we just did now, checking your message, swipe down, turn down the volume, turn down the brightness, click on focus and do not disturb exactly the same way we did in the first part now open your editing application click on new project and you're going to add the two clips we just recorded the next thing you want to do is to cut away the unwanted part from your video so scroll to the right once you spot the part you don't want click on your project click on split and delete it do the same for the second clip scroll to the end of the project click on it click on split and you're going to delete the part you don't want Scroll back to the front of your project, click on overlay and add the message notification we screenshotted. Now scroll to the right, click on transform, click on crop and we are going to crop this nicely. Just crop it so you have only the message notification showing. After that, scroll to the right, click on max, click on rectangle, click on this icon to drag it back to the way it was, click on this upper one as well to expand it. And then you click on this corner one and it's going to make the corner of this image to be round so that we can have a rounded edges after that click on this check icon now because i don't have enough space this notification is too long i'm going to crop it so click on the notification scroll to the right click on transform and i'm going to crop the side a little bit to make it smaller after that click on this check icon and we are now going to position this notification anywhere you want in my case i will position it right here now click on this icon to go back click on splice click on filter and the background is going to be removed now adjust the notification to fit into when your phone screen light was on when the message came in then you're now going to reduce the size make it smaller and drag it to the top of your phone like that now add keyframe to the beginning of the notification scroll a bit to the front and drag the message and make it bigger i mean drag the notification to make it bigger once you make it bigger position it where you want it to be this will add the second keyframe to your notification now play it and see if the notification pop up immediately the lights came on just like that when i expand my screen the notification is still too big so i'm going to reduce the size a little bit now you can see because i reduce the size and i click on another place it added another keyframe which i don't want so i will delete this keyframe to delete it make sure your cursor is on the keyframe and then you click on this keyframe icon and it's going to remove that third keyframe now make sure your cursor is on the second keyframe and then you do any adjustment you want to do to your notification on the second keyframe now if i expand this project and i play it now let's see this is very nice i like the way it pops up like that the second thing i want to do is to duplicate this notification because i want to receive two notifications so click on the notification scroll to the right and you click on duplicate now drag the duplicated notification below the first notification we are still going to keep the same keyframe the same animation drag it and make it immediately that one pops up the second one pops up immediately like that and right now you can see that the two notifications are on top of each other which is not very nice click on the second notification and make sure your cursor is on the second keyframe now drag it down a little bit like that expand your project and see if the positioning is okay if it's not okay go back 
and you can now resize it and position it on the second keyframe make sure you are on the second keyframe before you do all your positioning the next thing you want to do is to drag the two notifications to get to where you want to pick up the phone before they disappear so you're going to drag the first one to get there the second one to, to be equal now to make this notification engaging we need to add sound effect so you are going to click on audio click on sound effects and you are going to search here for sound effect but when i search the sound effect i was given is not an iphone sound effect or i don't like them now for you to get the sound effects you want the easiest way is for you to use tiktok so i will minimize my cap cut now and i'll open tiktok and on the search bar i'm going to search for iphone notification i like this particular one so once you found the one you like you need to screen record the notification sound then you come back to cap cut click on audio click on extract and you are going to extract the audio from that notification once you found it click on add next thing you want to do is to make sure that the sound and the notification are popping up at the same time so you adjust it drag it to the beginning of the first notification like this after that one click on the audio click on split and you cut it then adjust it again drag it to when the second notification pop up now we are going to delete the third notification sound so click on the audio click on split and we are going to delete the third notification now if you follow everything the way i've explained it you should arrive at this point the next thing i want to do is to add fade out effect to this notification so immediately i want to pick the phone up it will fade out both notifications will fade out so click on the first notification click on animations click on out and scroll to the right click on fade out click on the second one again animations out fade out and at the end you should have something like this immediately i pick up the phone the notifications disappear then the next thing we want to do is to add the screen record showing what we are actually doing on the phone now scroll to the part where you are about to swipe up to unlock your phone to read your notification and that part you are going to click on overlay and you are going to add the screen record after adding it the first thing you need to do is to trim away the excess parts so you click on it click on split and trim away the excess part like that now drag it back to when you wanted to unlock your phone click on the overlay screen record click on splice click on filter and the filter is going to remove the black background now click on the screen record and resize it reduce the size because it's way too big now while still clicking on it scroll to the right click on transform click on crop and i'm going to crop away this line after that click on done then click on the notification reduce the size reduce it to make it small now drag it to the top of your phone like that add a keyframe move a bit to the front and make this notification bigger so it's going to add another keyframe automatically make it bigger to the size you want after that make sure you position it the way you want it reduce the size make sure it's not covering your phone or your face and you can see from the adjustments i'm adjusting on the second keyframe and not the first one i like the way it was small from the beginning so if you are making it bigger or you are positioning it make sure you are doing that on the second keyframe that way you will have a smooth edit now scroll to the right click on the project and split it now i'm going to be showing where i swipe down so i'll trim it a little bit i'll delete this part bring it back you can see you can see that after swiping down i reduce the volume i reduce the brightness and i click on focus you, that one is very very fast so i'm going to adjust that part scroll to that part where focus is you have to be very careful while doing this click on your project split it now where the focus shows here somewhere here 
I will just delete this part and drag this one back. It's still not blending yet, so I will trim off the, the, the back part and drag it. I think this should be okay now. Yes, then I drop the phone. The next thing I want to do is to animate it that immediately I'm about to drop the phone, the notification to disappear. Now trim away the unwanted part, click on the notification, click on animations, out, and you are going to fade out. Now let's play it and see what we've done so far, if it's okay. If you follow these exact same steps without missing any part of this video, you will definitely arrive at this point. Now let's see the final result. And this will be all for this tutorial. If you watched this video this far, please don't forget to like, subscribe and also let me know in the comment section if you find this video helpful or if you want to continue to see more tutorials like this. Until next time, bye for now. And once you are done, export your video, add music if you want to add and that's all.